This week's Parsha is Parsha Vayigash, which is the 11th Parsha in the book of Bereshit, the book of Genesis. And in this week's Parsha, it's a pretty happy reunion. We have Joseph, who has been in Egypt for many, many years, being reunited with his father, um, with Jacob, who didn't know his son was alive. And um, first, in last week's Parsha, we have Joseph being reunited with his brothers, but his brothers weren't aware that they were reunited with Joseph because it had been so long and now he was this great man in Egypt and they had sold him into slavery last time they had seen him. And he had just been a teenager and now he's a grown adult who is really a royalty in the land of Egypt. And so first the happy reunion because Joseph gets to reveal to his brothers who he is and they're happy to see him and then he gets to be reunited with his father Jacob in the land of Egypt and that's a very happy reunion again because Jacob didn't even know his son was alive. He thought his son was dead. It's very interesting because because Joseph is this great man in Egypt and he works closely with Pharaoh, Pharaoh and the Egyptians really welcome Joseph's family into the land of Egypt. And one of the things that part of this welcoming process is that Jacob gets to meet Pharaoh. And when they meet, Pharaoh asks Jacob, he says, how, what are the days of the years of your life? Essentially, how old are you? But with a slight variance. And Jacob responds, the days of the years of my life are 130. So why wouldn't you just say, how old are you? Or how, how many years are you? Why the days of the years of my life? So the commentators suggest that the days of the years of my life refers to productive days, days that were meaningful. And essentially, Jacob, who lived to 130, lived 130 productive years. And they, the days of his productivity led up to 130 years. And he, Jacob even says that it's less than his forefathers because he had had sort of a sad, difficult life filled with sorrow. And that his ancestors, who had had more luck in their personal lives, were able to achieve more and to be more productive and fulfilled in their lives. And... I think it's interesting because here's sort of an old man and the, his age is measured by the amount of his life that was productive. And I think we can take an interesting lesson of that into our own lives. So, for example, today here I am, I'm sick, and um, I still am looking for some way to make my day meaningful inspired by this Parsha. So filming this video for me is something that I could do that's meaningful, that adds something to my life. So when we're looking for ways to follow in Jacob's footsteps, when we're looking for ways to add meaning into our lives, to make each one of our days count for something, so that at the end of our lives, we will have lived a total of X number of years that were filled with meaningful days, how can we make our days more meaningful? So there are sort of two ways to go about doing this. One is we can look at things that we're doing that are really unproductive and try and cut those out of our lives, which makes room for more productivity, for more meaning. So, for example, if you, you could even set um, sort of a timer on your activities for the day. So, you know, you go to the gym for an hour and a half and that's productive and you're at your job for eight hours, but really you're only focused for seven hours, so you were productive seven of the hours, okay. And then you could say, and then you go home and you watch four hours of TV. Okay, so those four hours of TV maybe aren't the most productive. I'm not saying that one shouldn't go home and relax after a day of working, but maybe you could even take one of those hours and do something productive or meaningful with that time. So another way to look at it, instead of saying, what's the time that I'm doing that's not productive, is just to say, what's something that I could do that would be meaningful each and every day? Maybe I'm going to learn something for 30 minutes in a day. Maybe I'm going to help somebody out for 30 minutes in a day. Maybe I'm going to, and then you just fill in the blank with whatever it is that would add meaning to your daily life. So I hope that we can all look at our lives and follow in Jacob's footsteps and try and lead each and every day of our life in a way that is meaningful and purposeful so that again, when we reach an old age, that um, our lives should be filled with many days of productivity. I also just wanted to dedicate today's learning to Miriam Adina Batsera and Michael Ben Kay. Miriam is undergoing a kidney transplant today and Michael is her kidney donor. I pray that she should have a that they should both, that things should be successful, that they should have 
uh, full healing and an easy recovery and that it should be the end of their difficulties. And I wish you all a wonderful week and a Shabbat Shalom.